Patriots and the Cougars. The Cougars enter this one knowing that this game could very well be won or lost down in the trenches. From an offensive perspective, they need to keep their quarterback upright to have a chance. And defensively, it's going to be about containing the running game. With that, let's head across town here in Orlando as we hook up with our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Clock winding down. They'll look to throw. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. A gain of six there on first. And leading here late, so a chance for the defense to really close out this game if they can halt the offense. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. And the play clock's running down. On first down, they rock to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. throw now on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. They get 31 yards that time. And that leads to a Chicago first down. Now that play will end up on the highlights and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. it out to Anderson. And he'll fight his Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They run it again with Anderson. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A 12-yard touchdown run. And his guys have taken the lead here in the fourth. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They're going this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Now they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. Wise move there. Look like nobody open. Now second down. I hope it don't sound too rah rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being good. He can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Looking like they're going to go just short 
as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Coming right, this is Anderson on the toss. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Tip carry now for Anderson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. So, Charles, I think from a defensive perspective, you have to look at that field goal there and consider it a win. You were able to keep him within a touchdown, so no question about it. That was the kind of stand that keeps you in ball games. This is taken at the three. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So some drama down to the very end of this ball game, Charles, on that final kickoff. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on social media. And once again, thanks for watching.